And obviously we have Derb, who is, he knows more than probably most of us, he's forgotten more than probably what most of us know about the law in this case. Um, I'm gonna take you back a little bit further in history than where Derb went to. Uh, we talk about the Kinston plant <clears throat> and what happened in Kinston. And it's gonna give you a little bit of an idea of the, what I refer to as the insidiousness of this company in particular, Sanderson Farms. I don't recall the exact year, but in, I was a river keeper at the time. And I heard that Sanderson Farms was planning to bring a slaughterhouse into the Kinston area, into our watershed. I had the opportunity to sit down with representatives from Sanderson Farms. I think the one guy actually was in the, the newspaper here, Pick Billingsley, uh, was his name. Met with the county officials in Lenore County and the city of Kinston officials. We sat down, they went through their dog and pony show with their maps and all their other stuff. And at the end they said, so what do you think? I said, I don't think this is gonna happen. Well, obviously I was wrong. Let me tell you why I was wrong. Because we made it very clear, we're not gonna have this in the New River watershed. Within a month, they came back and said, because of current economic conditions, we're gonna put this project on hold. We didn't hear a thing out of them until they resurfaced and they had every permit, everything that they needed to put that plant into place. Unfortunately, the county of Lenore and the city of Kinston were behind them 100% because they drank the Kool-Aid, okay? They drank the employment Kool-Aid, they drank that this is not gonna be a problem, all of those things. So 